Sleepy. Hey guys, so it's nighttime. After yesterday's vlog, I was obviously not doing very well. I mean, I did all the things I needed to do today, but I just was like a zombie. I, it's crazy, like I didn't even listen to music while I was driving. It was just the most bizarre day. I wanted to go to the gym, I set some alarms, and I was up. Mind you, I, I, was, I haven't been sleeping well, so I've been waking up like, you know, throughout the night and you know, I woke up plenty of time to go to the gym like at five, but I just, I couldn't get out of bed. Not that I was like sleeping, I just couldn't get out of bed. And then eventually I went around like 7.15, which note to self, don't do that because the traffic is terrible. Now I know why it's specifically I would go so early, but I'm glad I went. It was just, but I'm just so like, I don't know if it's dehydrated or what from all the crying, but I just, I made it till I ran a mile, but like that was a struggle. And usually I could do the first mile just fine. And then it's like the second mile of struggle. And then I took my cousins to their appointment and then I went to work. And now I'm going to a little get together. I really don't really want to go, but it's um, a birthday get together thingy. So I'm just going to go for a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't escalate. I'm trying not to go out during the week trying really hard. It's not working out because everybody has stuff going on during the week. I don't understand. Like, whatever happened to making plans on the weekend? I don't understand. I do work this Saturday though, so I probably won't be going out on um, Friday. So what I did notice that you guys can't tell in the dark is that my color, I feel like it faded a lot quicker this time because I just washed it. And I feel like most of the purple seems like it's gone. It might also be in my head or maybe it's because I'm looking at my hair at night but I mean I'm still getting compliments for it and I know the pink for sure like it came out lighter this time I don't know why it was the same pink super bizarre but yeah hopefully I can make it through the whole four weeks without having to get like a retouch I just can't believe it's like deja vu going through the sand it's always this time of year I know last year it was December but with my previous dog I'm pretty sure it was sometime it was definitely in the fall I just I know it wasn't December, it was earlier than that. Maybe like September, October. Which is so bizarre. But I mean, he looks good. His appetite's pretty good. You know, we've kind of just been feeding him a lot to like fat him up for chemo. But it's interesting. It also makes me wonder like, wow, like maybe like this whole month he was just not doing great because, you know, he was eating two cups twice a day, which is a lot consistently. But he doesn't really look like he's put weight on. I mean, I'd, we'd have to weigh him to see, but I don't know. I know I'm just rambling, but this is like, if you go back to like the diagnosis lap time last year, or even Luna's diagnosis, it's just like me rambling about what I could have done or or all the different like little intricacies of, of oh, how did I not notice and all that. It's just, it's just crazy. I mean, I would like to say that, not that I want to hold this record, but I feel like this has got to be a record of like number of, of dogs with cancer in like a short time. Like, you know, that's three cancer diagnoses. Diagnoses? Diagnoses? In uh, three years. Not three years. Seven years. Six years. Something like that. I could see having three dogs in your entire lifetime that have cancer. That seems logical, possible, feasible. Oh my gosh. At this rate, I easily have nine dogs total. Nine dogs, maybe even. Time I die. I don't know how long I live? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we're going from here for today. That's all I've got, at least for right now. So I'm good. 